welcome to nandip academy today we have started a new series of geography through maps geography as you know is very interesting subject uh, also uh, from exam point of view geography is very important so from that perspective we have started a new series called geography through maps there will be uh, two important parts in this series first we will deal with indian geography and secondly we will have a deep knowledge regarding world geography so let us see what will be the features of this new series so as you can see uh, this series is a blend of indian geography plus physical geography what does it mean that means when i am going to tell you about river ganges or river brahmaputra i am also going to tell you about the difference between alluvial fan and delta when we are going to study in detail about himalayas i am also going to tell you about the origin of himalayas iske alawa hum dekhenge bharat mein jo national park hai jo wildlife sanctuary hai jo world heritage site natural hai wo sab cheeze hum is lecture series mein cover karenge second feature as you can see uh, uh, geography has a unique feature we can learn uh, we can learn geography with the help of maps like other subjects we have history economics polity so there aap just padhte hai aur just usko memorize karte hai lekin geography ke uh, geography hum map dwara pad uh, pad sakte hai okay so that becomes a visual memory and it becomes easy to remember and recall in the examination also you can see the number of questions uh, in each year you can expect three to four questions based on geography so it's very crucial to study geography and especially maps then uh, when you see the pattern of geography uh, geography questions from last 5 to 7 years aap dekhenge usme geography ke andar environment aayega agriculture bhi aayega population and other senses are also covered in the geography as a whole subjects so in this series of geography through maps we are also going to cover all the subjects which are related to geography that's environment that's agriculture so in agriculture we will deal with soils we will deal with weather we will deal with the agroclimatic zones we will deal with the crops cropping pattern we will see the major crops because last year if you see the number of questions from agriculture where uh, 10 se 12 questions agriculture ke bare mein aaye the then uh, this series is also current affairs based that means uh, the happenings which are uh, like uh, which are happening in the recent uh, past okay so we will do that because that things become very important for example rambal tiger reserve so uh, it's a new tiger reserve that's based in rajasthan so we will cover we will focus on rambert uh, rambert tiger reserve in more detail fine then uh, there are some infrastructure projects like tunnels like bridges so we will cover that also and then uh, uh, we will cover wide coverage of the world geography hum uh, north america south america all the continents we will do we will also do the ocean currents important straits important seas fine so these are the some unique unique features and this lecture will be both in hindi and english right so indian geography so when i say indian geography what are the important topics that will be covered under this indian geography so i have just mentioned a list these are the very important topics if you see the last year questions the number of questions from these sections are more okay so we will start from this section and uh, in detail we will study lecture by lecture okay so first we will study about location and physiography of india then we will cover rivers lakes dams and reservoirs we will cover all the rivers we will cover all the himalayan rivers in detail also we will cover peninsular rivers also then because upsc asks the questions not only from rivers but they also ask the questions from their tributaries also so tributaries distributaries what is the difference between them so wo sab cheeze hum log is series mein padhenge then we have soils of india so soils are very important from agriculture from geography point of view so we will study all the types of geography we will see uh, we will study the uh, basic features of each type of soil we will study their distribution fine so soils of india then uh, we will cover natural vegetation and wildlife so under natural vegetation and wildlife we are also going to uh, uh, look deep into the forest survey of india because that is very important source of uh, information regarding forest so we will study about forest types of forest their distribution because uh, uh, last uh, last to last year upsc has asked the question uh, regarding the forest in the eastern himalayas so forests are very crucial 
from the exam point of view. Then we will cover protected areas. What is the meaning of protected area? We have many national parks in India. So national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, community reserves, we have bird sanctuaries, we have Ramsar sites. So all these things, all these, these uh, seven things will come under this protected area. So we will cover all these things. We will current affairs which uh, uh, abhi abhi, jo Tiger Reserve ko assign kiya gaya hai, wo hum padenge. Then we will also study the uh, World Heritage Site Natural. What is the difference between mixed World Heritage Sites? So what we will see. Then what is the difference between weather and climate? We are going to see about uh, uh, Indian monsoon. Fine. Then uh, the climate of uh, uh, which Himalaya? Like Western Himalaya is warmer or Eastern Himalaya is warmer. So we are going to uh, see about them. Okay. Then about agriculture. As I have told you already, in agriculture, we will see about crops, soils, weather, agroclimatic zones, then fertilizers, pesticides. So we will see that in a detailed manner. Then about industry and mineral resources, we will see uh, what is the mineral belt of India. Okay, fine. So we will study about major minerals. We will study about mineral minerals and we will, uh, we will take the help of maps so that it will be easier to remember where are the iron ores in India located, where is the bauxite reserves located, where is the, uh, in when you are, when you are talking about agriculture, so where is the tea production is highest in India, where is the coffee production highest in India, which is called as the rice bowl of India. So we will, we will study in, the, uh, in detail with the help of maps. Then we will also study about population, census and tribals. So tribals are very important, UPC will, uh, UPC can ask you them. Uh, uh, suppose in the match pair leader because uh, uh, take example of Limbu tribes. So Limbu tribes are from Sikkim, Apadani tribes are from Arunachal Pradesh. So likewise, uh, we will take each state and we will cover all the tribals and I will also tell you the mnemonics, how to remember them. Fine. Then population is very important. Population census is very important. Then uh, we will also cover uh, livestock census. We will also cover agricultural census. Uh, likewise, I told you, uh, we will cover forest survey of India. So we will cover all the important census data. So this will be covered with the help of maps so that you can remember it very easily. Then when I talk about world geography, so what exactly I have divided uh, the world into this into these 10 parts as you can see because India is in Asia. So we will uh, I have divided the Asia into four parts. So we will study in detail about Asia in four parts. We will start from South Asia. Then we will go to West Asia, Central Asia and East Asia. Plus what I have done, uh, these institutions, these international organizations are also very important from the UPSC preliminary point of view. So when I am going to tell you about Central Asia, we will also talk about Gulf Cooperative Council. We are also going to talk about OPEC. We will study why the Gulf countries are fighting, why they have so much mineral resources, Two-third oil reserves, they have uh, like two-third of oil reserves in the world is located in the Gulf region. So what is the reason behind it? Then, so we will dwell deep into this. So like when we are studying South Asia, I will talk about SARC, its membership, the current summit. We will study entire in SARC, BRICS, BIMSTEC and IORA, Indian Ocean Rim Association. So likewise, uh, then we will study after covering the Asia, we will go to the Europe. We will study European Union. Uh, if you see European, Europe is very important, at least one question will be there regarding European Union or regarding Europe. Similarly, the North America and Arctic. So when I when I will cover the North America continent, I will I'll, I will also take I will also talk about the Arctic region and the NATO, okay, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Then we will cover South America in detail. I will tell you uh, I have made a mnemonic for South America from 1 to 12. I have made the mnemonic from South America. So like one. So Brazil is the only one country from which equator and the Tropic of Capricorn passes like two. There are only two countries in the South America, uh, Equator and Peru, uh, Equator and Chile, which does not share border with Brazil. So likewise, I have made mnemonics for them. Then when we, uh, when we are going to see Australia and Antarctica, I'll talk about six great things about Australia, like Great Barrier Reef is very famous. Great Victoria Desert, Great Shanty Desert. So likewise, there are six great things about Australia. So in detail, we will see about them. In Central Asia, we will talk about seven Stan countries, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan. So we will also see Afghanistan is in very hot topic in these days. So 
we will see ki which countries share border with the afghanistan because from the exam point of view it's very important so you must know ki which country share border with afghanistan where is caspian sea located is caspian sea a sea or lake so in detail we will study about them uh, we are also going to see about major islands the galapagos islands the assumption islands which are in news the agalega islands the, uh, then we will also see about the uh, tristan da cunha islands then hawaii islands so likewise there are many islands in the world then we will also talk about straits because straits are very important uh, the uh, strait of malacca gibraltar strait drake's passage we have then we have bering strait so we will talk in detail about this then about ocean currents similarly we will talk about ocean currents the oeo currents corocio the abc current i'll talk in detail about them in world geography so uh, we will start with india fine we will start with india today uh, this is this is the latest map of india and these are the some basic uh, basic if you can say basic uh, figures related to geography i have made a mnemonics for you as you can see 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 and 16 so you can take a screenshot of it so i'll just explain like there are two states in india gujarat or west bengal ki wo jo state hai wo bay of bengal like you can see here west bengal shares international land border also and sea border also likewise gujarat shares land border with pakistan and sea border with arabian sea so these are the two states in india which share both sea and land borders then there are three states assam mizoram and uttarakhand which share borders with two countries so such factoids are very important because you can see can give you these statements ki uh, assam shares border with two nations true or false fine so you might get confused that uh, if you see here west bengal has border with bhutan also then nepal also and bangladesh so there are three countries so you should study map in detail and it become very easier to remember if you study with the help of maps so likewise there are three uh, three states west bengal sikkim and arunachal pradesh which share border with three countries fine so west bengal shares border with three countries then sikkim with nepal china and bhutan fine then uh, five uh, five states are there which are landlocked they do not have international land or sea border so which are these states so mp chatisgarh telangana state jharkhand and haryana once in uh, uh, once upsc has asked when you are when you want to travel from nagaland to kerala how many states will be there if you are going from nagaland to kerala so from uh, you should have a clear mind map of our uh, all these states and their land border so they are very crucial so they can ask you directly they will not ask you uh, madhya pradesh share borders with how many states likewise but you should have a rough idea uh, regarding it because they can ask you the standard meridian of india which is at 82 degree 30 minutes so it uh, passes through how many states it passes through they will uh, give you statement like uttar pradesh bihar mp likewise so you should know it passes through up mp chatisgarh odisha and ap andhra pradesh so likewise i have made the mnemonics 2 3 5 6 is we have six zonal councils then seven is uh, the borders of india okay international borders what is bachpan mba that is a mnemonic for you pa that means bangladesh so india shares longest international border with bangladesh so that is bangladesh second is china second is china then p p means pakistan then n means nepal m means myanmar b means bhutan and a means afghanistan so bachpan mein हमने सोचा था कि हम बड़े होके एम बी ए करेंगे सो so, आप ये याद रख सकते हैं और उससे आपका कवर होगा इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर और वो जो है वो सीक्वेंस में है सबसे ज्यादा बॉर्डर हम शेयर करते हैं बांग्लादेश से एंड बांग्लादेश शेयर्स हाईएस्ट बाउंड्री विथ विच स्टेट दैट इज अगेन वन क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन सी वेस्ट बेंगाल दैट आंसर इज वेस्ट बेंगाल सो इंडिया शेयर लॉन्गेस्ट बॉर्डर लॉन्गेस्ट इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर विथ बांग्लादेश चाइना पाकिस्तान नेपाल Uh, Myanmar, Bhutan, and Afghanistan. So these are the seven countries. Then about eight. So uh, there are eight states in India from which the Tropic of Cancer passes. Again, these states are very important. We uh, tend to confuse between these northeastern states. If you see the Tripura and Mizoram, so from there the Tropic of Cancer passes. So these are very basic facts, and you should know because in the examination, if you miss out, you become uh, like it is very huge loss of yours because. 
all the students will mark it correct and your uh, your question will be wrong so it's very important to uh, remember these basic basic facts regarding india okay so uh, before going in de uh, in detail about each physiographic regions these are just the basic facts regarding india then there are nine coastal areas again uh, you should know ki gujarat shares the highest sea border fine this is the highest sea border so which is second second is andhra pradesh third is tamil nadu fourth one is maharashtra so likewise you should know the sequence upsc can ask you about that then uh, you should know the area wise which is the largest state which is the smallest state these are very basic facts but some people may confuse between goa and sikkim which is the smallest state because there is a huge pressure while writing your examination writing your preliminary examination so you should uh, you should not forget about them then they can ask you about the union territories smallest union territory in terms of area in terms of population in terms of uh, the newly formed ladakh territory they can ask you the borders of ladakh or jammu kashmir fine so these are the facts regarding india political then uh, we will focus about india physical okay so these are some again basic facts regarding india physical ki india is the seventh largest country in the world in terms of area india is second largest in terms of population then you should know the north south direction 3 what 3 to 1 4 and all these figures have taken from the ncert so that's a ideal source okay then uh, uh, the geographical coach 7517 km so you should know ki uh, uh, without jo andaman nicobar hai on lakshadweep island se unko exclude karke kitna hota hai so mainland india ka border kitna hota hai so that you should know there are 15 agro climatic zone there are 20 agro ecological zones okay uh, then the standard 82 degree 30 minute that is the standard meridian so what is the standard meridian we decide our time from this meridian okay so we compare our standard meridian with the greenwich meridian international greenwich meridian and from that we have taken our meridian as 82 degree 30 minute so that's the india standard longitude longitudinal meridian and we decide our time based on this so this is a physical map of india we will dwell deep into it lecture by lecture okay so these are the five uh, basic physiographic divisions of india five basic physiographic divisions of india so unme first hai northern and north eastern mountains so jo himalaya hai wo himalaya ka region wo first aayega second is northern plains third one is the peninsular plateau i'll just draw a diagram so this is himalaya region then i got northern plains then i got this is peninsular plateau then we have lakshadweep islands and andaman nicobar islands and uh, fourth one is coastal plains so ye jo plains hai maharashtra mein konkan region hai goa karnataka kerala tamil nadu ka coast so wo coastal plains so so these features are very unique features so this is peninsular plateau this is northern plains and this is himalaya So when I say about physiography, what exactly I mean? Physiography means we will study the origin, which uh, from the exam uh, ex exam point of view, it becomes uh, very important to study, which is the uh, largest area, uh, largest physio uh, physiographic division of India. Then we will also see the which is the latest physiographic division. We will compare them. We will study their rock pattern, how they were originated. So in detail, we will study deep by deep. into the uh, each physiographic divisions so uh, so today like we will study about the north and the north eastern mountains we will just have a brief introduction over it and in detail we will study in the next lecture so i'll just tell you the uh, i'll just make you understand the sub divisions when you see when i say the north and north eastern mountains i mean to say there is a himalaya mountains see himalaya is not a mountain himalaya is a mountain range so first you should uh, you should understand the difference between mountain and mountain range mountain kya hota hai so this is a mountain okay but when there are many mountains it becomes mountain range fine and when there are many mountain range it becomes a cordillera the geographical name is cordillera cordillera means mountain ranges so mountain many mountain it becomes mountain range and many mountain ranges it becomes cordillera so himalaya is a cordillera system so we can divide uh, himalaya in various ways uh, in uh, when you are comparing uh, when you when so
This is Pamir knot. Okay, this is Pamir knot. This is Pamir knot. Uh, this is Karakoram bridge. And here, the Himalayan mountain system starts. It's a, like a convex system. Fine. I'll draw it. So, Himalaya system is like this concave system. We have Karakoram, we have Ladakh, Jaskar mountain ranges. And there, here we have northeastern mountain ranges, eastern hills. Here in uh, Afghanistan, we have Hindu Kush mountains. Here in Pakistan, we have Suleiman mountain ranges. And here in China, we have Kunlun Shan and Tian Shan mountain ranges. And if you see the uh, map of India, India is located over here, somewhat here. This is the northeast part of India. This is the Jammu Kashmir part. And Himalaya, the location of Himalaya is like this. We have Pamir Nord. And from Pamir Nord, we have the mountain ranges of Himalaya. From the like uh, the uh, direction is from northwest direction to southeast direction. Fine. And why, the, uh, why we have this kind of curve? Because we have studied in physical geography in detail. Uh, because... Uh, there were two plates, the Indian plate and the Eurasian plates. So millions of years ago, they collided. And from that, this highest and youngest whole mountain has been created. The process is still going on. So it's very uh, interesting to know that Mount Everest, the height of Mount Everest is increasing year by year. Fine. So uh, earlier it used to be 8848 meters. Now it's 8848.8 meters. Fine. So why they are increasing? Because these plates are colliding with each other and there is a formation of mountain ranges. That's the formation of Himalaya. So that's the basic origin. Uh, from exam point of view, we will study in detail. So this is the basic location of Himalaya. And when I talk about the uh, when I talk about the divisions, so we can divide Himalaya like this. This is Shivalik mountain range. Then this is Lesser Himalaya, or we can uh, call it as Himachal. Then there is a Great Himalaya or Himadri. And there are Trans Himalayas. Trans Himalayas means Karakoram ranges, Ladakh ranges, Kailas ranges. So these ranges are called as Trans Himalayas. So we can divide from north south direction. So you can ask you about uh, arrange in the sequential order Lesser Himalaya or uh, uh, what is Lesser Himalaya, what is Greater Himalaya, what is Outer Himalaya. So you should know in detail about it. Or we can uh, divide the Himalayas into uh, in, in longitudinal way. From west to east, we can uh, call this part as Western Himalaya and this part as Eastern Himalaya. Fine. This part as Eastern Himalaya. So, Eastern Himalaya will have Sikkim Himalayas, then Arunachal Himalayas, and here we will have the Eastern Hills and Mountains, the Naga Hills, the uh, yeah, Naga Hills, then Mizo Hills, Lushai Hills. Fine. Then, here in Western Himalayas, we have Jammu Kashmir, Himach, uh, Jammu Kashmir Himalaya. Then here we have Himachal Himalaya and here in the Uttarakhand state we also have our Western Himalayas. So in detail we will talk in de uh, we will talk in detail about the Himalayas and the characteristics of each uh, each each part in detail in the next lecture. Thank you.